guys I'm just getting back from the grocery store making my morning run um, today I will be cooking cornbread strawberry cake greens I got my bananas back there because I need though that potassium I picked up like six bunches of greens um, I got my sweet red pep uh, bell peppers. Got my green bell pepper pickles because I'm making um, potato salad. Um, I'm doing fried barbecue ribs. I got my smoke jaw for my greens, and I'm about to pick my greens and put my smoke jaw on. So, guys, stay tuned for the finished product. Um, and I got a couple of my YouTube favorites that I'm going to tag in this video. So, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. As you can see, I um, have unpackaged my rib. I got to skin them. And wash them with water and vinegar. So I'm adding that to the water. Turn that off for a moment. A lot of people don't take this extra skim off the back of the ribs, which makes it tougher if you leave it on. So all you got to do is start to cut it. And it'll peel off. There that slab go. And the next lab. So today, um, I will be cooking fried barbecue ribs. I will be cutting these into like two to three bones, frying them. <clears throat> And then adding my special barbecue sauce. Because once you get this skim started and lifted on one end, and then, like I say, you can just pull it off. And from there, it goes in the vinegar water, which is here. Thoroughly washes. So you have to make sure you wash down where the bones are because it's always gritty bones. Uh, residue because of the saw so make sure you wash 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 guys because I've seen some of these youtubers um, just take their meat out the pack and cook they don't even wash it I was once a butcher in a warehouse meat packing warehouse back in Tennessee and I know firsthand when they cut it they pack it and if you don't clean it you still have dirty meat so um yeah i'm about to completely wash these uh another time and then i'm gonna cut them into two to three bones maybe one to two bones however i feel like cutting them and before this video ends guys don't forget to like subscribe and comment 
please leave a comment or any suggestions about food you want to see me cook. So, like I said, stay tuned. All right, guys, I already cut up one slab. And I'm about to cut another slab. Yeah, it's a pretty sharp knife. And like I said, I'm cutting them in two and three bones. Because I already got plenty over here in the water. And I got to let them soak for like... A good 15 minutes, and then I'm going to start to season them. So, you're going to love this outcome. As you guys can see, I'm starting to add my seasonings. That's lemon pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Tony's Creole. And I got two secret spices, guys. Sorry, I can't reveal those. Um, <clears throat> paprika, smoked paprika. And I got a uh, bold and smoky flavor. It's almost like the liquid smoke. But it's not. Some mustard for tenderization. <clears throat> and I'm going to mix all of this up in this bowl. Because I want to marinate it for a good 20 to 30 minutes before I decide to fry it as you can see the seasonings are getting on there I love a dry rub looking good I gotta wash that seasoning off my hand um and guys, I will be getting started with picking my greens and putting the smoke jaw on. I'm going to sit this, these ribs in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes to marinate. Uh, stay tuned for all the finished product. As you can see, guys, I just put my potatoes on with my eggs for my potato salad. And I also have my smoked joe going in the back. It's cooking, looking good. That's for my greens. I'm about to get ready to pick those greens and get this meal finished. As you can see, I'm starting to pick my greens. I have turnips. And curly mustard. I'm from the south, so I do collard greens some, sometimes, but most of the time I do those too. Can't wait till this is done. Now I'm cutting up onion to put in my greens. And I think my eggs and potatoes are done for. The potato salad. 
I had an egg to crack. But I think they're done. So I'm going to take them off so I can rinse them and put them in some cold water. So now I'm about to add my onions to the greens. And I like a lot of onions in my greens. It gives it such a good, robust flavor. Looking good back there. Looking mighty good. Can't wait for the finish things of everything. I've put my corn on now and I got it on super low because I don't want it to cook fast so the greens got to get done and all the other great dishes. Alright guys, I just want to know do what exactly do you guys put in your potato salad? Um, <clears throat> some people put onions, some people don't put onions, some people Put mustard. Some people, some people don't put mustard. Um, so I'm just curious to know exactly what do you guys put in your potato salad because I put mustard, mayo, salt, pepper, sugar, sweet relish, paprika, the eggs, onions, bell pepper, and if I didn't say sugar, sugar. So I'm just curious. What do you guys put in your potato salad? So I have to finish doing my eggs. And these are farm raised eggs. So I get them from a co-worker. But um, just stay tuned for my finished products. All right, I'm adding a little salt. A little pepper. I'll do the paprika on top. Mustard. Mayo. Sweet relish. And now it's time for me to mix it. So so guys, I'm back about to mix up my cornbread. <clears throat> and I'm adding a little ground cinnamon to my cornbread. It's really good. Don't knock it till you try it. And some honey. All right, guys, this is my finished mixture of honey cinnamon cornbread. So stay tuned for the results.
Greens are still cooking. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Then I got my specialty sauce cooking, barbecue sauce for those ribs. Like I said, stay tuned. Well, guys, as you can see, I've marinated my ribs. And now I'm about to put them in the flour and give some fry some of them. My grease is already hot. So as I twirl them around and shake them in this bowl of flour, oh yeah. As you can see, guys, I dropped them in the hot grease. They're cooking. And I got my <clears throat> specialty sauce going back there, and I can't wait. The first batch of fried ribs. Looking yummy. I got to fry more and add my specialty sauce, so stay tuned. All right, guys, here's the finished product. My honey cinnamon cornbread, my cheesy, cheesy mac, homemade potato salad, corn on the cob, fried barbecue ribs, and, of course, I have my greens with smoked joe. So there you have it. Finished product. Looks yummy to me. But before you finish watching this video, give it a fat thumbs up. Leave any comments or suggestions down in the box below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to go tell your friends, your family, your loved ones, your boo, your bae, your hubby, your wife. Oh, UPS, Amazon delivery guy and girl, make sure you tell everybody, go watch Cooking with Love, because she be dropping those dishes. And I do have the finished product of my cake. So there's my strawberry cake. Finished. Done. Strawberry just fell, but there you have it. Strawberry cream cheesecake.